So let's get cracking with the game. Remember the things that we really need to focus on at the beginning of any diplomatic game is fast settling, wide expansion, and then getting ourselves a religion and also going for as much culture as we can per turn. I would always recommend getting monuments in as quickly as you can, but luckily for us, Rome provide us with a monument building every time we settle a city. So that's really good. What do we do with our first warrior? Well, I would normally follow fresh water and go and explore to see if we can find another place to settle. Now we can either go up to the left in this direction, or we can head down in this direction. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna head this way to see if there's more mountainous area. There's lots of hills in this area. I just wanna see how far our little island goes and whether or not we're likely to find anybody else. In terms of whether or not you go for an early game builder, um, well, it depends on how quickly your, your city's going to grow because really we wanna be jumping on a settler as quickly as we can. As to whether or not we go for a scout or a builder, well, the scouts are always really good. It helps us to find city-states really quickly um, to get that first envoy. But I think for us, I mean, should we go for a builder? We're unlikely to improve this stone super quickly, so I'm actually I'm going to go for a scout, uh, and then we can sort of jump in and then get a settler as quickly as we can. So you can see for us, actually, our island is very small. We do, however, have a reef. That's really good to know. Reefs, of course, give us a huge science adjacency when we build campuses next to them, so that's quite exciting. It looks like we've also got a bit of frozen territory up to the north, ah, including a barbarian. We're just going to go and have a little look there. Oh, flooding! Unfortunately, ah, it's the worst sort of flooding. Flooding that uh, doesn't give any uh, improved resources. But there we go, here's the scout. We're going to head in this direction, and let's go and see if we can find anywhere to settle. Uh, I think I might actually go for a second scout. We want to really spread ourselves around as much as we can. Oh, a tribal hut. Code of Laws. As soon as you get this, always jump on God King. We want to get the first Pantheon, or at least as close to the first as we can get. I'd never go for survey. As long as you've got barbarians on, I'd always go discipline to keep your scouting units alive when they find barbarians. We're actually going to see if we can take this scout out ASAP. So you can see Rome actually is going to finish its population, uh, its scout in two turns, but we can now also get a settler in. So I'm actually going to start to queue a little bit. We're going to get the settler in after the scout. That's 12 turns to do all that. We should be in a place where we can build a holy site soon after. Um, let's just get this tribal hut, state workforce. Actually, that's not a bad little civic boost. Um, you can see here, we're currently working foreign trade. I see this is the thing. When I was doing my guide, it seems to have stuck on <laughs> working this. I always like going for state workforce, um, but we want to make sure we use the Eurekas as much as we can. Improve three tiles, but we will get a builder at some point, but I don't need to rush this one. Foreign trade, I think, is going to be the one to do first. So we're going to uh, we're going to do craftsmanship up until the point that we can't boost it anymore. We're basically getting the, the boost would complete the civic, and then we'll switch to foreign trade. Following fresh water and rivers is never a bad idea because this is ultimately where we're going to be settling, is towards foreign, well, basically on fresh water. There's a lot of tundra up here, actually, which is interesting. It's not the best of the cities, but we can settle up here because don't forget we're going culture, not production or food, essentially. So lots of options for us. Hey, look, there is a lot of land, actually, a lot of land. What I'm hoping is we find a natural wonder. Normally I'd switch to another tech because this is now boostable. Do you see, if I got the boost, it would immediately complete the technology for me. But I do want to do this as quickly as I can. Aha, our first opponent. We've got Hungary. Hungary does like to go to war early doors, which is a little bit of a problem. So we just need to keep an eye on that. Don't forget, as soon as you meet someone, immediately send the delegation. Um, if you've got open borders, then trade open borders, but we won't because we haven't unlocked open borders yet. But um, hopefully we can keep these guys on side. Don't forget, we want to be friends with everybody if we can help it. Oh, another recon unit. We've gone for the triple scout start without really meaning to. Never mind. Now, I want to see where Hungary are based. So we're going to go and have a look in this direction. Um, if we can figure out where they've come from, we can figure out where we need to settle to box them in. I need as much space as I can get. Remember, you can always have a look at the settler lens to give you a hint. It's down in this direction. Okay, so that's where we're going to be scouting. Uh, the delegation has been sent back. That's a good sign. That means that hopefully we should be able to be friends with them. First impressions, we didn't get very lucky. Uh, okay, it's always worth the, just the random friendship declaration because sometimes they accept it. That scout is now dead. Okay, 
Remember, we've got to kill a few um, barbarians in order to get the bonuses towards uh, bronze working and other bits and pieces like that. Military tradition, I think, is the other one. Oh, Lake Ritba. Okay, astrology was boosted. Wonderful. So we can now actually build the holy site uh, super quickly. Question is going to be, do I want to build the holy site first or do I want to get the settler out? I think I want to get a settler out. So we're going to continue with the settler and then we will get the holy site down. I would always recommend after getting astrology for you to have a look at pottery, animal husbandry, mining. We're going to go animal husbandry, see if we can unlock horses. Uh, horses, of course, well, when you reveal them on the map, it gives you a lot more production, which is a lovely thing. Okay, there's Pex. So we found Hungry City. Um, it looks like we're going to have to settle in this direction to make sure that Hungry don't box us in too much. And Babylon. We're the first to meet Babylon. That's really cool. Trigger Eureka for archery. We've got to keep an eye on these quests. See if we can't do this. Oh, Babylon are really good because great works of writing. We're actually going to pick up a lot because we are going for theatre squares. So actually that's a good suzerain for us. And there's Buda. Okay, we've got a good idea of where they are. I mean, don't forget, we can always go to war with Hungary if we want. We just need to make sure we're playing the grievance game well. But realistically, having a good friend is much better for us in the longer run. See, I always do this. I always end up just pushing through craftsmanship when I shouldn't have done. Never mind, we're going to get the state workforce. We have already boosted this. Uh, the settler will come pretty quickly. There is also um, a settler, a Hungarian settler, making its way in this direction. I am super tempted just to do an immediate declare war on them in order to steal the settler but I think getting a friend out is probably better in the longer run uh yeah you know what for guide purposes we're not going to just jump on that settler because that's a bit circumstantial we're not going to do that um okay oh what's our settler's done and unfortunately um our scouts are ages and ages away so we just need to be a little bit careful on our settler placement here but it won't Stop us going for holy sites. Now, don't worry about early game wonders. There's no point in wasting your production on them. Just make sure the holy site you put down is going to be a decent one. We actually need to think about as well where we're going to settle our cities in order to get really good placement. See, all our horses are over here, actually. God, those are good tiles as well. Just in the totally wrong direction, unfortunately. Um, Okay, there's no ridiculously good holy site for us. Plus one is, well, a little bit pants. Keeping an eye on the Statue of Liberty. Okay, we need to build that on the coast adjacent to land and a harbour district. So where am I realistically going to build the harbour district? But I can't put it here because then the, the, the only sort of sea town next to it would be on this one. So I think the harbour may have to go on one of these two tiles, really. Um, I think actually saying that, if I were to put it there, so there's a harbour, we're going to put the Statue of Liberty on this tile. Um, the next one we need to think about is obviously the Patala Palace which is on a hill adjacent to a mountain. So if we were to for instance do one here, so there's the Patala Palace, it means our theatre square is likely to go this one. Okay, it's not an ideal arrangement, this is what I'm going to do. We're going to go for the bath um, and then the industrial zone because the industrial zone needs to be next to the government plaza but also an extra quarry down here would do it well. Uh, eventually we'll go to campus here to get the good yield bonuses between all the districts. That should make it a plus three because we've got plus one uh, and then two. Uh, no, it would only make it a plus two. Um, never mind. Um, and then the holy site here. Okay, it's, it's a convoluted arrangement but I think it's a pretty good one. So in short, holy site goes down here. Always go battle cry. It's the best promotion for warriors. Okay, where's that scout gone? There it is. Okay, it's, it's about to inform this particular outpost that there's company down there, so we've got to be a little bit careful. Um, it's all about getting the number of cities out. We needed to settle, basically, as many cities as we can get hold of in order to, well, get as much culture as we can. So let's have a think about that. Check out this little arrangement. This is what I like to do. I like to make the industrial zones have that perfect diamond formation with aqueducts. Well, both of these will be plus five. That's really cool. Don't get too attached to plans because even the best laid plans, well, invariably uh, fall apart. But this is my idea to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cities down. Um, hungry and no doubt there'll be someone down here. If I sort of look, then yeah, there's definitely going to be some pressure. But this is the plan at the moment. We'll, we'll see how much we can, we can get down. And mining is now unlocked, so I can improve all of these tiles. 
Holy sites now coming along. You can see my settlers making its way to uh, basically towards this computed land. I'm just going to settle in a straight line. See how close to this wall I can make with Hungary, just to make sure they don't forward settle me too much. It's all about just getting those settlers out as rapidly as we can do. Vilnius. Nice to meet you, Vilnius. Okay, this is a really good one. The more alliance levels we have, I get more adjacency on my theatre squares. So that is a really important one to look at. You can see here, I've only really planned for industrial zones. That's just because I'm keeping an eye on the ones that give us the double adjacency. You know, these are brilliant concoctions where you can get plus five industrial zones. But I'm going to think about, obviously, building a holy site and a theatre square in pretty much all of my cities. I'm going to go for pottery now, and then we'll run probably either towards sailing or writing to get the campus, but we don't need it at the moment. So unfortunately these barbarians have horses, which interestingly means there's horses in at least a couple of the tiles around here, which is pretty cool, but it doesn't matter. Let's found the city. Hopefully they'll just attack this city blindly rather than doing anything else that's too bad. Uh, and normally I think about getting infrastructure in, well, as quickly as I can, but realistically I need a bit of an army to fix this problem. Slingers are gonna be really important. Um, Look, Hungary wants to be friends. I am going to get the friendship with them pretty quickly. There we go. Look at that. That's pretty good. We want as many friends as we can get early stages. So yeah, let's get a slinger or two. That'll help to defend the city. Holy site complete. Very good. Okay, that means Rome now needs to make a decision about what it does. I want to get the first religion in. Uh, getting a shrine gives me another great profit point per turn. Equally, I could rush holy site prayers. I could do that twice in the time it takes to get a shrine. But... I need the shrine because this works into my religion plans for later, so I'm just going to quickly get that through and see if we can get a religion that way. I can actually see that Hungary is building Stonehenge, or has built Stonehenge, um, which means that Hungary, yeah, has got a great profit. They're going to have a religion. We may even be able to get into a religious scrap with them. That would be brilliant, because that means we can go to war with them. So I've now got 24 faith, which means I can get a pantheon, so I'm going to get rid of God King. Don't need that anymore. Um, discipline I'm going to keep because there's lots of barbarians around and I need to fight them. Uh, but otherwise we're going to get urban planning. That plus one production, it does help get that initial army going. Um, you can see at the moment I'm protecting my lands with scouts. Uh, nothing but scouts. Not that the scouts are a problem. No, you can see I actually managed to kill something with them, which is pretty impressive. Um, but yeah, I just need to fight things off and then retreat as soon as I can. I need that slinger up and running as quickly as I can get it. Uh, there we go. Magnus into Rome. Brilliant. So now that state workforce is done, we're going to go for foreign trade and hope that we get a second continent. Um, although actually I could go for barbarian outposts. Let's go for that because I do have a warrior up here that's about to wage war with this outpost. Oof. The scouts are definitely under fire. Always go for alpine first because movement on hill. Uh, terrain means that your scouts are more likely to go onto hills if you ever automate them. That's really, really handy. Am I going to win here? Yeah, probably, actually. That's not too bad. Yeah, 44 damage is pretty good. Awesome. Okay, we've got a Pantheon. It, uh, there's so many good Pantheons that you can get, um, and all of them just give you different advantages and different disadvantages, but there's a few that you should always keep an eye on for. Religious Settlements is obviously really, really good. An extra capital uh, settler in your capital sorry, is amazing that's an extra city and you can use that growth to accelerate through the game just by having another city out really 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 good extra faith from tiles with breathtaking appeal is also really handy as is um river goddess amenities and housing if you've got a holy site next to a river that's very easy to pull off and that, these amenities help later in the game um divine spark also gives you a better religion and then helps you to win over those great writers uh, once we get amphitheaters in so lots of choices really i'm going to focus on going for the three settler i would always go for that one if i were you otherwise i would jump on either divine spark or maybe god of the open sky if you've got lots of pastures or plantations extra culture is really good but i think this extra settler is going to really help us to just spread ourselves around it's all about settling as quickly as we can oh this warrior can just skip through and then boost military tradition okay um, unfortunately that Barbarian is now on full strength, but I have boosted that, so I might lose that warrior actually. We're going to have to just focus on getting a couple of slingers out. Um, in fact, if I just were to move this scout out and attack and kill that, oh no, it wouldn't kill that guy. That's unfortunate. Um, we can just use our money to get a slinger in and hopefully we can sling a Barbarian to death. That will boost archery for us. 
which is really handy. Oh, God, these barbarians are not in a friendly mood this game. Um, there's the Slinger. Okay, and then can our scout get a major, it's a major defeat? Oh, oh, I don't know. This is all so complicated. I just don't want to, I don't want that settler to die. Um, I'm going to have to just try and kill it, I think. Yeah, okay, it didn't work, but never mind. So I'm not going to use this envoy. I'm going to wait until I can double it up on Vilnius, or I can get the Caesar in a Babylon. You can see Vilnius has already been taken over by Hungary, which is not great. But nobody else, or actually one other person is getting a religion at the moment. Have they founded the religion? Catholicism they have. Choral music and what? Shrines and temples provide culture. Okay, interesting. Now I've got military tradition, let's go for foreign trade. Okay, so I boosted archery because a barbarian literally just ran into my slinger. That's pretty cool. And there's another one dead there. Okay, great. Um, where are we going to settle next? I think probably down here. Or should we go for this site? No, that doesn't have any fresh water, so let's go for one down here. Okay, settler away! So, the Great Prophet. Okay, we can start to be focusing on getting that now. We've just done the Shrine. We've got two points coming in per turn. Uh, I think Holy Site Prayers are going to be what I need to focus on just until I get the religion. And then we can switch over and start looking towards getting some settlers. Putali is just building me some more Slingers. You can't really have enough um, because the AI are not going to stop attacking you at any point. Right, what are you going to do? You're going to tap the slinger. That was a mistake for you. Uh, give myself volley because he's out and about and probably will continue to do so. Get that guy to attack and okay, the scout can't finish it off, but he can escort the settler as he comes down here. Oh, actually has left the barbarian encampment clear for us, which is quite handy. Archery is now boosted, so we can just upgrade that guy. Lovely, and then we'll sling you to death. Brilliant. Um, Settler continues on his merry way. And you can see my holy prayers are going to boost me towards that religion. Just keep doing it until we get it. We're going to get the bronze working now to unlock the iron, but also because we've already boosted it. Remember to keep going for the text that you've boosted. It makes such a huge difference. Oh, tribal villagers just put a population into Putali. Did you see it? Brilliant. We've got 10 turns. Can we get another 11 era score? The answer? Unlikely. However, there's no chance that a settler is going to get attacked, so I'm just going to get my scout in there quickly. Bam! That is some era score, actually, to be fair, so maybe it is possible. Right, early empire now. Civilization needs six population. We've got three, we've got two, so as soon as I settle next turn, we should boost early empire as well. Oh yeah, look at that. You think you're being so clever. Bam! Surprise city! You weren't expecting Ostia there, were you, you asshole? Right die okay we are building one archer here so for now we don't need to worry about focusing on getting too much more i do want a holy site but i'm actually going to get the builder going first because there are some good tiles in ostia we do need to start improving our cities a little bit um we'll change our specs around once we're ready to do that okay this warrior has been annoying me and he is dead now i can actually might be able to rescue this warrior that'd be amazing if i can pull that one off oh hello hungry you're gonna forward saddle me are you Ugh, damn it. Oh, they really are going to. That's interesting. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start using my uh, units to kind of bottle them into settling as close to me as I can. There'll be no way, absolutely no way, they'll be able to keep the loyalty for that city in the long run. So in the end, they're essentially just going to be giving a city to me. Especially, yeah, I mean, look, that that's really annoying because that just totally ruins the plans for two of my city. No. Yeah, that city as well. Oh no, that city's fine. Oh, that's so annoying. Why'd you have to settle there? Oh, you're not even gonna, there's no way you're gonna keep that city. Oh, I mean, sometimes if the computer does make you question existence, this is why it's just important that we don't get too attached to our, into our city layout plan because it was never gonna, never gonna stay. So we're about to get our profit. We need three more turns worth of points. That's not too bad. So Rome can start to do something productive. I'm just going to get a builder in so I can improve some of the tiles around where I am. Uh, and after that, we'll be fine. Um, bronze working is good, but I am going to get a quarry afterwards um, so I can start to harvest stone. I'm also just going to upgrade to this archer, just in case Hungary start to get the idea that um, they want to forward 
attack me a little bit. Okay, early empire gives us a lot of different things. Um, we're just going to switch over to Ilkum. Uh, discipline, we're going to switch to Agogi, just make sure we've got enough in the way in. We'll keep an eye on getting some settlers in uh, at some point. I don't know where Hungary's troops are going at the moment, but they are a little bit disconcerting. Um, yes, we've got builders being produced now. This is all very nice. Might actually keep an eye to the bottom of the map as well. If we can go for ancient walls, go for engineering, getting the baths up, that would be nice. So they have now have a governor in, and they've only got 6.3 loyalty above me. And I'm not putting that much uh, population pressure on them just yet. So... I think we can squeeze this city away from them. This will be pretty good. Magnus, provision. Nice. That is a good place to be. I'm actually getting zero great profit points because my holy site was just flooded. That's so annoying. Oh, didn't even give me any more yields to any of these uh, tiles as well, which is, which is even the worst thing. Actually, no, technically that tile has one more yield now. Yay. Actually, because I completed the quest for Babylon, I might actually see if I can... I see, no, no, Hungary has already got three envoys there as well. Uh, Mafias has only got one in Vilnius. Oh, it's because they've switched over. Uh, they've got um, Amari going on. Okay, that's fine. We'll put it in Babylon. Uh, just to stop Hungary from getting the diplomatic favour. I don't want them to get any more than, they, than they're going to get naturally. Because I don't want them to be able to tell me not to settle. They need 30 diplomatic favour to do that. And if I can help it, they won't be able to do it. That's this for some preemptive planning. I'm actually planning on taking this city before they get a chance to stop me. Okay, one, two settlers needed. I mean, I can totally surround that Hungarian city, stop them from coming anywhere closer. I'm also just moving my arches around just to make sure I can see any more settlers coming in. That would be the worst thing. Um, okay, this city as well. Ah, holy sites. I do need to start thinking about getting down wherever I can. So I just think about that. Yeah, all right. Plunk yourself down there. Good. So here's the quarry built. Now let us give Rome a little bit more production. Yes, I know I will eventually build a campus there, but having a quarry there for now, not a bad thing. It's Arabia. Nice to meet you. And they are down south. Okay, so we've got Arabia and Hungary on our continent. That's not too bad. Hungary has just switched to the classical republic. Oh, good culture from them. Uh, nobody's getting great writers at the moment, though. That is good to know. That's really, really good to know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this builder just on this uh, bonus resource tile. Um, the government plaza I can't build just yet, but what I'm going to do is just start building a settler. I need to start getting these out with rapid speed so that Hungary can't compete with me. Um, I think it's probably better than putting any luxuries down, isn't it? Yeah. For now, that's fine. Um, yeah, and then I can start to settle, like, this one is probably the first one I want to settle. Maybe I'll settle this one as well. Okay, immediately though, I totally missed the initial delegation window for Arabia, but they have no reason to be angry with me, so hopefully it won't last for very long. Masonry! Okay, here we go. This is where we start to jump on this. Let's just double check how much I can... How much does it cost to switch my government cards? Not much. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to switch to settlers. Um like so that'll do for now so now i've got magnus in and magnus uh, has the groundbreaker which gives me 50 percent yields from harvest and then i've also got the settler card in so that when i cut this down i can go bang and put four turns into my settler nice i think going for engineering first is a good thing minor resource i think i should be able to mine a resource if i go for that uh mercury 105 gold to do that unless i've got a mineable resource elsewhere in my empire which at the moment it does not appear that I do there's no copper or anything so we may have to do this the hard way but here is my religion oh yeah okay let's go and put our religion down you can see Hungary is already beginning to start to think about spreading their religion around so we've got to be a little bit careful about that but it's good this sets us up for a diplomatic quarrel later in the game oh and uh, a builder nice um, what, what are you doing here I think Arabia must have had it stolen. There we go. I just found another city-state which boosts me political philosophy as well. Um, we're not going to war, so Classical Republic is a really good one for the great people points, but also for the housing and amenities. Um, autocracy is really good if you want to build wonders and you want a good capital, but Oglagasi, I don't need Oglagasi for now, so Classical Republic, it works really well. We've got the Settler card, we have the Urban Planning card, and we now have the Ilkham card. 
Uh, we're also going to put in a Diplomatic League in order to be able to put two envoys into every city-state we meet from this point on. Um, you can see Bate improvements is, is pretty damn good, and both people have Amani going. I should probably think about getting Amani soon. Uh, here's a settler. Lovely. And here is a religion. Now, this is where we're going to be thinking carefully about what we do here. Uh, we're going to pick our own religion. What have we got? We've got red. So let's go for a deep uh, yellow, I think, to fight the red off. We'll go for the lion and we're going to call this the Ursa Ryan Diplo Guide. Yes. As you know, that's really boring. We're going to call this Teeve because, of course, Teeve is definitely a religious policy. If you've watched my channel, you'll, you'll, you'll get that joke. Um, Feed the World has been improved. Plus three food and plus two housing each on shrines and temples is massive. If you build a holy site in every city, you're going to get plus six food and plus four housing just for having a holy site. That extra housing and the extra food means that you're just going to... These cities will be huge and powerful and amazing. So you need this. This is good. Feed the World is fantastic. Um, what I'm also going to do is think about giving myself World Church plus one culture for every four followers of the religion. That is amazing. Basically, it's going to push us down the culture tree and make sure that we can get as much culture in as possible. So, yeah, it will definitely help. 150 faith to get a missionary. Oh, it's going to take a little while to spread it, but we will spread it. You can see already we're getting 0.7 from beliefs. It all helps. Let's just shoot towards mysticism quickly. I can get the extra envoy. Normal age, it's not great. Um, the, ho the golden age is going to make it difficult to, to knock uh, Hungary's city away from them, but we're going to go for Exodius of the Evangelist. Plus two era score each time you get a religion spread to your cities. Hopefully I will have a lot of that. We shall see, of course. Oh, Hungary's building a theatre square. Okay. I actually won't complain about that. That's, that's pretty good for when I pick that city up. Look, oh yes, the loyalty is beginning to go down a bit. It's beginning to go down a bit, especially if I start to spread my religion to them, which I'm going to do. I'm going to keep friendship going because it's important that I do. Ah, uh, do you hate me? No, there's actually no reason you should hate me. Let's go for open borders. Come on, I'll give it a couple. Actually, I don't need to give power. I'm so used to getting rid of power, but you want to hold on to as much of it as you can. About 10 gold. No? 14 gold for open borders. Okay, that should get them on side. That's good. Hungary, I just, I've got an eye on your diplomatic favour here, so how much of it can I buy away? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to keep an eye on this, we don't want them to go above 30. If they go above 30, actually we're going to see if we can keep them below 20, because if we can do that, um, we can stop them from complaining when we take their religion away from them, which is hilarious. So Ostia, I'm just going to get rid of that stone as well, uh, and then we can get the holy site in. I'm going to have a lot of holy sites because it's really important to get my religion going so that I can fight hungries off uh, as a thirst thing, but also so I can get the food from Feed the World in. Let's go for drama and poetry. That's the next set of districts we need to be thinking about getting down. So Hungary are now beginning to settle down towards Arabia. That's good news. Uh, <laughs> I was really worried they were going to continue settling towards me. Here's another one. Hooray! They may actually get grumpy and stop me, well, trying to stop me from settling near them, but again, they don't have enough diplomatic favour, so they should have a problem with doing that. Have they finally got points for Vilnius? I was just going to see if I could stop them from doing that, but yeah, they're now envoyed with Vilnius, which means they're getting some diplomatic favour per turn now. We'll keep an eye on that. Okay, this will boost irrigation, which will be nice. I'm also building the population pressure up in this sort of area of the world. Uh, where did we get? Yeah, irrigation should be able to be boosted soon. Okay, good. And I just need ancient walls and I can go all the way to engineering, which is quite nice. Here is the camp. Oh, thank God. I've actually got a single luxury down in my city now. Woohoo! Now, we want to get as many great people as we can, but the fact that Hungary have actually built a theatre square is not a problem for us. We don't mind that, because if they do get great works, we can always just buy them from them. Um, again, I'm just keeping an eye on their diplomatic favour and seeing if I can, um, well, just keep buying it from them to stop them from getting much traction. Yeah, another four. It'll do. It's worth it just keeping them on, just keeping them sort of suppressed. I don't want them to be able to tell me to stop spreading my religion. And here's some wine. So all my cities should be nice and happy now. Happy cities, amenities are all really good. It gives you that lovely 10% uh, citizen growth and 5% yield. Hey, if you get one more one more um, production in a city, take it. Worth it. 
Right, let's get these walls up. Um, when Rome is done, yeah, ancient walls, do it. City states have gone to war with each other. Saladin has declared war on Vilnius. Oh, don't do that. That's mean. I'm also just going to settle here as well. It's my next point in the old uh, expansion tree. Rome, yes, it's good. Once we get engineering, these barbs are going to be really handy to get my housing up and also to get my amenities up just to keep my cities friendly. Oh, you see here? Did you see that? That is good. Uh, make promise. Promise not to convert my cities. I will respect my wishes. Okay, but if he doesn't, I will get um, grievances with him. So it is worth it. Next up, we're going to go for games and recreation. We want to be heading towards civil service. That's the the next good policy. I did just realise that I just obviously gave him a load of political power doing that, um, or diplomatic favour. That's that's a little bit annoying, but never mind. We'll spread our religion sort of to him. Just yeah, I think we should be able to do it easily enough. It'd be interesting to see if Islam gets really grumpy with um uh well sorry with arabia and hungary dislike each other because they do have opposing religions here it could be quite interesting to see who wins that battle there's engineering boosted ancient walls nice come on settler we are so almost in a position now where we're putting decent pressure on them if that religion flips they're not going to be able to resist my influence for too much longer um I think the next thing to do is if I just do one more holy site prayers, that'll help to spread my religion a bit and get me that faith just to get that first missionary. Really important we do that. Um, and let's get the shrine going here. Yeah, so that we can feed the world properly. One more settler. Well, bonk. They probably will end up getting grumpy with me for settling near them, but there's nothing I can really do about that at the moment. Um, so let me just think about the district placement. Yeah, that'll have to do for now. It's not the best uh, assortment of tiles, but never mind. Let's get that holy site done. Oh, well, my builder actually did manage to get all the way back. That's amazing. Aha, good on you. Oh, yeah, look at this. The holy site project is now spreading my religion really well. This is cool. Oh, and Vilnius just fell. Oh, Arabia. Actually, this may this may actually get um, uh, problems between Hungary and... Um, Arabia, that's pretty cool. We'll, we'll, we'll just watch that one, see how it goes. Oh, I can grab the uh, suzerain of this city-state. That'll give me a lot of the map. Nice, and another diplomatic favour per turn, stopping Arabia from getting some. Brilliant. I'm also going to jump on theology. I've boosted it, and we can get temples in. That's going to give another three food and two housing to every city, which all helps. Oh, I've actually got enough for a missionary. I didn't see that, but let's just quickly get that guy in. Well, bam. I will take Hungary's money at the moment, at the risk of making their cities too happy. Uh, yeah, I, I think I can still make that one flip. How's my religion getting along? Did I actually put... Yes, I managed to put uh, a population in most of those cities, so... You know what, I'm just going to do one more project. It feels like a waste, but if it just kicks my religion off and helps me to spread it, that should be fine. Oh, are you going to do it? Catholicism, they did. Oh grievances against them they broke a promise you see that is really really handy no harm but i can't undo so teeth has now spread which is really really nice their dedication bonus is triggered they're going to go towards having a golden age which is lovely you can see the religion now will begin to spread pretty hard um in fact actually i should be able to push this city through next which will activate the feed the world look ostia as well oh I just lost a city-state. Never mind. And theology. Here we go. Uh, scripture. How much faith do I get from adjacency? The answer is very little. So we don't need to worry about jumping on scripture for now. The policies we've got are pretty good. Let's just move the missionary, get that one sorted. I've got another envoy. Actually, I can just take this city over as well. Okay. Now we've got to go towards apprenticeship. That's really cool. Um, so we'll go for the commercial hub. I just realised I'm actually building this. I could just be building the bath 11 turns. No, I think getting the shrine up first is a good idea. But we will get the bath going soon in Rome. But I need a trade route. So let's quickly just get the trader going with the gold I took from Hungary. Just a nice little short trade route from Rome just to boost what it's doing. That's really nice. I got my mission route. I'm just actually skipping over Puterli because I think that will... It's in the middle of all my cities. Um, so I'll just quickly convert this city first. I 
think is a good call on that one. Uh, the temple would be a really good thing to do, but I'm just going to get the bath going quickly. So there's the city. Wonderful. Actually, that'll help with the loyalty of the city, which was struggling a bit. Yeah, look at that. That's a good old flip. Um, okay. Yeah, Rome just needs to get its settler going now. I think that's the next important thing. Putoli. Let's get the temple going. This will just help with the population. These Feed the Worlds are going to be very impressive when they start to go. Woohoo! Okay, right. That's great. Can I afford another missionary? Yes, I can. Wonderful. You get to Putali. Stat. And Rome? You know what to do. Do I get Satellar or do I go for bu uh, Temple? Let's go for the Temple and then we'll go for the Satellar after that point. And then we need to really start to concertedly settle. Uh, build a pasture. I think I've already done that, haven't I? So now I should just need to do three mines. Uh, hungry, would you stop converting my cities? promise broken again. You see, look, the grievances. The grievances! Do you not care about these grievances? It's so annoying. Ugh, I'm just gonna have to, like, battle them, and I really didn't want to get into, like, a missionary battle, because he's just gonna end up doing it again. You see, look! <sighs> yeah, I need apostles. I need apostles quickly. At least this is giving me loads of grievances with them. Yeah, so I can declare war on them and take the city if I need to. Right, um, do I get Marnie in to help me keep the city-states, or do I get Moshka in to help spread my religion? Might actually do that. Let's get Moshka in to, um, Aquelia. Yeah, let's do it. I'm also going to go full feudalism. I'm not going to get towards six farms just yet, but getting the extra builder charges helps just to get my civilization off the ground. Oh, would you stop it? Stop it. <laughs> stop it. This is giving them excess grievance penalty though, and it will cause people to, to, to dislike them. If I continue just to get into this scrap, it's actually, it, it's not the worst result for me actually. It, it's annoying, but I could be doing a lot worse. Right, apprenticeship, let's just get that done, shall we? Yep, managed to spread it to another city. Uh, grievance is 215, which is good. They should actually stop getting diplomatic favour soon, and then I can pinch it all from them. Stop him from having to be able to being able to fight me. Right, open borders. I need to do open borders with you. Come on, I need you to be friends, Arabia. This is not a time to be grumpy with me. Come on. So look, shrine, temple, shrine, shrine. We're getting the infrastructure. Don't worry. Feed the world will cause me uh, to be able to sort of jump on this pretty quick. Now, hungry. I've got 216 grievances against them now. So I'm just not. Gonna, I'm going to let the friendship expire. I might be able to declare on them and be able to, to strip a city or two from them without actually getting a penalty for doing so. Um, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna let that friendship go for a little bit. So this will really put the pressure on. Let's go and settle there. Oh yeah, move this warrior to this location. I want to see if I can flip the city just manually. I am gonna just go for friendship and then hopefully these grievances will just continue to rack up and up and up and up and up and up. Um, okay, so I've got double feed the world coming in for Rome. Rome's doing really well on housing. It's doing well on everything, really. I can build the government plaza. That would help a little bit. Theatre Square needs to really get put down as soon as I can as well, just to increase the fear, the culture output. Yep. More settlers going. I think actually we can get some builders going soon as well. You know what, actually, I'm going to just get the government plaza going first. And then we'll get some builders out. Oh, look, Arabia have conquered one of Hungary's cities. Oh, they did not like being settled on. Or, or like their religion being trampled on. That's really interesting. We've got a full-blown war between the two of them here. Oh, wow, the scout just bumped into a lot of stuff here. Right, pull back. That's not a good place for you to be. Okay, we are in a dark era, which is interesting, because I can get monasticism, which gives me science in cities with a holy site. That would help me to get through the early stages of this game, admittedly. Uh, but I think I'm going to go for serfdom, urban planning, colonialization. Yeah, you know what, for now, it's a, good, it's a good little thing. I've got five cities. This is okay. The base is doing fine. Don't forget, this is all about just making sure we've got a good hub that we can produce political power with soon. Um, I need to be thinking about getting theatre squares going pretty rapidly though. That is one thing I should keep an eye on. But dark era, what is Hungary in a dark era as well? Actually this is really good. This means that, oh look at that, yeah we're putting loyalty pressure now, minus 20 
he 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 Oh yes, Hungary don't have the pressure to keep this city. This could be the time that I get my way back into this game. Exodius of Evangelists. Let's do it. Let's keep spreading my religion around. Get Catholicism out of here. Okay. World Congress this is the first vote. Uh, new districts built by this player act as a culture bomb and public relations. Now, this is where we need to be a little careful because our diplomatic victory, we get points for basically voting on the thing that, that, that wins the vote effectively. You can actually see here, let's have a look. Um, so Hungary have uh, 62, 62. Uh, okay, it's not going to tell us. It used to, there used to be a little glitch for if you looked here and then compared it to what everyone's diplomatic favor was on this screen, you could see how much people had voted which is quite interesting. Now, Hungary is causing a lot of grievances. Grievances against them. Huh? What? I mean, I'm, I haven't occupied these things, I guess because I'm like friends with Hungary, maybe. But we're gonna vote um, that Hungary, who everybody hates, is going to have more grievances against them. I think people are gonna likely jump on that. Um, new districts built by this player act as a culture bomb. will vote for myself, so I can get three votes on each. At these early stages of the game, it's difficult to guarantee you're going to win these votes. But if you spread them around, Trajan, Mafias Corvius. There you go. Look at that. Two points for me. So that is the first two diplomatic points. I'm now winning the diplomatic victory. But more importantly, Hungary are now going to produce twice as many uh, grievances um, when they refuse to stop converting my cities. Now this is good. Bang. Look at, did you see the growth on that city? Just randomly shoot up. That's the shrine kicking into action now. That is lovely. Let's get these missionaries in. You can see actually nobody really voted. You can see nobody really voted at all. So me putting my three votes in worked a treat, actually. A real treat. Uh, Moshka, religious pressure is adjacent to cities. It's 100% stronger from this city. So I'm actually going to move him to um, Putoli now that that is following Teeth. Governors wise, I think I do need to get Pingala in pretty soon. Where's got the, oh, which has got the most, Ostia's got a huge population actually. So Ostia, you are lucky. Pingala is on his way. So you can see that the baths have now been finished here and here, which is really good. Um, there are some industrial zones that need to get put down. I don't know why that disappeared, but never mind. Um, but we do need to get some builders in. So I'm just gonna actually get some cities to build me some builders. Just so I've got what I need to exist. Aid requests, you want to jump in on this pretty quickly. Now, we end up giving him loads of gold, but two diplomatic victory points for the winner. So yes, we do want to vote on that one. Uh, if we can get involved, that's brilliant. Yeah, five people have voted for it, um, including Arabia, who I believe is actually at war with them. Or have they made peace now? They may well have made some, oh no, they're still at war. So that's an intriguing one. Um, they also appear to have a horseman parked off my borders, which again, Stop it, please. Please stop it. Oh yeah, look at this. Pex has just fallen. <laughs> oh dear. Three cities are going to cause Hungary all sorts of problems. Let's just quickly go and look. You can see actually, they're on 35 diplomatic power. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to quickly buy some from them. In specifically about 15, if I can help it. Let's see what it needs for that. Actually, how much can I get for 200 gold? No, 15 exactly. Fine. Uh, let's buy that. I want to start accumulating it as quickly as I can, but now they have less than 30, which means they can't ask me to promise anything. So when I found this city, there's nothing that they can do about it. Uh, in fact, actually, I'm just going to move this missionary and I may even just steal the religion off this city because, you know, the loyalty is really struggling. They put a governor in here and they're still losing loyalty pretty rapidly. And Pingala, let's get Connoisseur going. Thank you very much. Oh, look, Arabia have taken the city over. Rebellion in three turns. Oh, that's even better. Well, in that case, we just need to keep our army quite close um, so that we can just sweep in and, and take it. So spreading my religion there again. I mean, rebellion in one turn. You're not going to hold on to that city, Arabia. So please just stop. Stop trying. You can already see, by the way, that my religion is giving me five culture per turn. So I'm now on more culture than Hungary or Arabia which is pretty cool. My warrior is being attacked, which is less cool. Um, but you can see this is now a free city. Let's just get my archers to go and uh, busy themselves a little bit. Um, Arabia, if you start spreading missionaries to my land, 
Not going to be happy at all. I'll ask you for exactly the same thing. Promise not to convert my cities. No, this is for the best. See, I will assure you. Okay, grievances against them. This is good. This is good. It means I'm going to be able to get grievances against Arabia as well. Apprenticeship. This is where the game will really become alive for us. Now that we've got this, we're going to focus on getting some industrial zones down to increase my production. I've got loads of baths and aqueducts everywhere. So that should be really fun to sort of mix. We're in a religious battle with both people on my continent, which you may think is a bad thing. And you may think I'm struggling on the start, but this is good. Diplomatically, this is fantastic at later points in the game. You will see. Don't you worry. You will see. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton for all of the help you give on Patreon, as well as everybody else who likes and subscribes to the video. Cheers. You help keep me going.